Hello everyone, welcome to Tubal products and solution channels. Today we'll have a webinar on conductive properties in uh, rotor molding parts, two cost-effective and easy solutions. Before I go in, let me start about the Oxial. Oxial is a high-tech company registered in, uh, in Luxembourg where we produce tubal nanotubes. Tubal nanotubes uh, are single wall nanotubes which can enhance most materials used in the world. To learn more about our company, go to www.oxial.com or another website www.tubal.com. So let's start. Before we go, many people ask us, the first question they ask is whether we registered uh, and can supply for health and safety issues. We do register our tubal in Europe, reach and we can ship to Europe up to 10 tons per year and EPA. EPA in the United States when we can ship up to 20 tons per year and we increasing the allowance for shipping even more because the market demand tells us we have to do that. To talk about nanotubes, uh, uh, we think it is better to start uh, if we compare and contrast nanotubes against other conductive agents. So we, when we talk to the customers, they usually express the uh, and express the interest and ask us about how to build and choose perform and five properties, five pillars. So if we take those five properties and try to look at the traditional agents such as conductive black. So full range of resistivity, very, very good agent, very stable resistivity. But if you look for other parts of the equations, you can see that the situation is not that good. It is not clean production and you cannot get any color except black. And when you apply carbon black, uh, usually you have the problem with uh, mechanical properties. The other widely used um, conductive agent, especially for uh, rotor molding parts, is organ um, organic antistatics, ammonium salts and other agents. Uh, very clean production, possibility to color, but you have a very limited range of resistivity, probably 10 to the power of 10, 10 to the power of 9 or 8. And you have a problem with resistivity stability when the humidity is low. So that's when humidity is low, you would start losing resistivity. If you compare tubal to these two class of conductive agents, you can see that tubal nanotubes are well-rounded conductive agents, which are very good and all uh, pillars important for the customers. The key thing uh, why that's important when we talk about a, a conductive agents and different conductive agents is of course dispersion and the quality of dispersion. And to illustrate that, let's start with um, micro, micro particles. If you have a fixed dosage of 0 to 1 percent, I have a cube uh, of with edge 1.5 millimeters, micro sized particles there, you will have only two particles. If you go to the uh, carbon fiber, the situation would be better. Carbon fiber would start performing as a strengthening agent, but still you can see uh, that it's not homogeneous distribution. If you go to tubal, this is where you can really see the 3D network. So not, uh, only nano-sized particles, nano-sized agent would start fill the whole, uh, the whole uh, polymer cube in this particular situation. This video is from uh, our uh, Oxial Energy Division and it uh, tells you the, how nanotubes perform in um, active material of lithium battery. Uh, the same idea would apply to, uh, apply to polymers where nanotubes could be applied. It means nanotubes do build a 3D network which from one hand strengthens the material but for the other works as a channel and bridges uh, to help the energy transformed throughout the material. The next slide gives you the idea, uh, the actual performance in polymers. If you compare the tubal, how much tubal you need and to other agents, you can see that, for example, to get to the 10 to the power of 5, you would need virtually 100 times more standard carbon, carbon black uh, than compared to uh, tubal single wall carbon nanotubes. Why that's important? First one, and we'll see further down the presentation, it's important for the ability to color parts. But the other important thing is that when you have a very low dosage, ultra low dosage of 
of the engine. It gives you the ability not only to have the nanofuse work as an agent and have a color at the other end, but also to preserve, and in that particular case, even improve mechanical properties. So you can see, you can see the free graphs for tensile strength and tensile modules. We, to ball, application studio, to ball nanotubes not only preserve, but even improve mechanical properties in this performance. Uh, and pack strength. And pack strength, this is the, uh, the character property where you usually can see the biggest drop when you apply uh, carbon black. With tube nanotubes, you can see only a modest drop, which is very important for certain applications. It's the title of the presentation, two cost-effective and easy solutions. So we do offer two products for this range. We talk, when we talk to the customer, uh, we usually say, for example, if you have a uh, this, uh, request for anti-static range, it means from 10 to the power of 10 to 10 to the power of 8, uh, it mean, uh, we suggest to go to, with uh, our concentrate, which is called Tubal Matrix 811. When we talk uh, to the customers on the uh, conductive range from 10 to the power of 8 to 10 to the power of 4, we suggest uh, to go with another product, which is called Tubal Matrix 811. More on these products. So these products are uh, concentrates, which are based on polymer and predispersed nanotubes. So we understand that our customers have their own agenda, have their own objective, uh, to develop their own technology, have their own objective uh, to go and achieve certain market uh, goals. So what we do, we try to deliver them uh, easy to use, uh, concentrate with predispersed nanotubes. And we develop and invest in dispersion technology quite significant amount of resources and time. So two, uh, two products we have recommended starting dosages for testing for antistatic range matrix 811 is based uh, on the carrier uh, in, in the form of salts Concent uh, concentrate matrix 815 for conductive range is based on polyethylene wax we also have the recommended starting testing dosage okay do we have uh, real-life commercial success stories. We do. Um, I will tell you just three of them. We have other other stories and other uh, success cases which are on the market, but f some are covered by India. We cannot talk about that. Some of them are in the final stage of development, and we can talk them more in uh, first quarter next year. So the first one is uh, containers. Containers for uh, flammable liquids and powders. Very important. Russian customer. A Russian producer of rotomotic parts. They have a customers in Russia as well, uh, that, as well as Central Europe. Important thing about the case, for example, that certain final customers say, say, look, I need 10 to the power of six, and I don't need any color. So, uh, and that, and that, for that particular type of customers, uh, uh, we and our partner provide black uh, containers uh, with no pigment added. It. Uh, other says no, and uh, we would prefer to have the color containers and resistivity could be 10 to the power of 7. Those customers get the color container and uh, are the required resistivity. The next case is my favorite. Um, when we started working with photomotive technology, we did not envision that we will have the case. But in Russia and other northern countries where the winter is very long and severe, sliding uh, children's slides sometimes are placed within the shopping malls and uh, in shopping malls the humidity is very low and the, a child which, uh, who would go down will not only get a nice haircut but would also have uh, increased electricity charge and when the child would go down mom would approach him, touch him and there would be spark between the mom and the child and the child uh, would, go, would cry, mom is unhappy, she would go to the uh, shopping mall management and complain. So unexpectedly, uh, some of our customers ask us whether we can help them with developing this kind of colored and um, anti-static child slides, and we we help them. Uh, so we, now you on the screen you see the real life uh, slide, uh, which is used in Russia. It is colored, uh, and the, our partner has, has an ability to do diff different colors, uh, 
probably except uh, yellow. Surface resistivity, the 10 to the power of 8. And what is important, uh, because the, uh, it is the big concern of safety, that the slide would preserve initial mechanical properties. And the, the next, the third case is um, oil separators, very new. Uh, it is the Western Europe, used for petrol filling stations. And here the requirements are very strict. Since it's, it is the oil and gas industry, we have on, not only to meet the uh, resistivity requirements, but also the conductivity has to be very stable, with uh, independent of humidity and with no hotspots. Because that, if that would be the case, that would lead prop to possible very dangerous situation. Again, more to come probably the first quarter next year. So when we develop those kind of concentrates, prerequisite is that we develop uh, technology which would not require from our partners any change in the process and any additional equipment. So how do you process? You start for both ranges with mechanical mixing, standard mechanical uh, mixer. For anti-static range with matrix 811, you go directly to rotor molding. For conductive range with matrix 815, uh, a little bit more complicated, you have to go through compounding step with twin extruder, uh, then you have to mill the pellets and go to rotor molding. Sometimes rotor molding companies do not have the twin screw extruder, so in that particular case, uh, we work also with compounders. We have a process. We have processing guidelines for both products. In the notes to this and description to this video, you can find the link to our website where, uh, where you can find the processing guidelines and study them in details. Thank you very much and I hope to see you soon.